So they'll be calling you a radical, the degenerate, hypnotized, sicko America. What a metaphor for degenerate America. So let's get back to the salmon numbers. No place is more, de I mean, the country's so degenerate. It's unreal. This is such a metaphor for it. Build it up. Tear it fucking down. I mean, consumption junkies, what's your function? It's all the nightmare that's going on in the Columbia River right now. That giant, giant beast that drains most of all the continent, North America, Western continent, into the fucking one river. It's so fucking gargantuous. I mean, it has less than 90,000 spring Chinook salmon. How many should it have? Fucking 10 times that. And remember, this is with absolutely no fishing, no tribal takeout, no commercial fucking takeout, no fucking gill netting, no retail, no nothing. And this is just by number. They're skinny. They're sucked up. They look like a fucking small rainbow trout, not a, you know, 30, 40, 50 pound Chinook salmon. So the numbers are horrific. By the way, the Chesapeake kid sent me this insane video of this moron talking about nuclear waste was just garbage and all it is, is but it's just contaminated with plutonium uh, and these fools are saying yeah isn't it something that radium's more fucking toxic than plutonium no it's not i mean why do you think they use a fucking radiation fucking treatment to fucking zap cells it's so fucking hardcore and powerful and i love all you fools that think that fucking radiation does not cause cancer. <laughs> uh, talk about throw karma on yourself. The fucking fool. I'm willing to air their fucking ignorance in public. You don't think fucking nuclear fallout causes cancer? You know shit. You don't know nothing. Go talk to any oncologist. Go talk to any one of them. <laughs> I mean, the dad is fucking well, doctor. Go, what are you? The modern-day Madame Curies? That's exactly it. You know, she was a big denier. Well, that was natural. Oh, this is fucking millions, billions, gazillions of Google times worse. And so, it's poison in the Pacific Ocean. It's poison in the fucking planet. And these hypnotized, fainty fucking goats, like here in Utah, the toilet. Consumption junkies, what's your function? Consu I mean, this consumption junkie fucking hypnotized. How did they do it? One of my guests and two of my cable TV. Operation Fox on fucking news on Balco on fucking chemo. The fucking country is fucking sickos. Whacked out. So degenerate, willing to give their own fucking, like, give me political fucking dogma or give me dad. Well, political dogma is dad. Fuck, you think it's just points of the cancer rates are so spiked and cycle? People not living longer, they're living less when we have organ transplant fucking... I mean, the medical advances we've had in the last fucking few decades is staggering. Yet we don't live longer, we live less. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm not, I don't do opinion, just make up shit, spin shit, fucking wacko, and feed the fucking dumb goats. <laughs> if you're one of those fucking, run along, Johnny, fucking, this is for the big kids. And by the way, the contemporary sheep <coughs> are going to pop what you see with. They're gonna, and that's been proven historically over and over and over. They're gonna do shit. They're gonna get caught in political theater, Trumpism versus fucking old Bidenism. When if they're identical, fucking debtor, fucking imperialist freak shows. There's no difference between the two. Zero point zero. They're warmongering, fucking giveaway to imperialist fucking bootlickers. Just like Obama was, just like Bush, they're warmongering, fucking imperialist, one percent, fucking corporate elitist, boot lickers, fucking crumb lickers, fucking puppets. It's a freak show. So you realize the United States is consuming well over fifty percent of the world's fucking product. Well, when the rest of the world's all in on. Cutting consumption, especially post Fukushima. And we want more nuclear. I mean, just more. I've never seen such nuclear energy propaganda, and I've been at this for over six years. Never have I seen such propaganda. These fucking degenerates. And never have I seen such a dumbed down, ignorant fucking population that's willing to go with it to the. Well, neighbor died, cousin died, fucking child died, fucking. All these people. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. You know, because they don't think it can happen to them. Oh, it's going to happen. <laughs> freaks. 
I remember Lady Judge, remember she was fighting in those early days, and I just, I told her straight up, hope you don't get leukemia, I'm full of it. Leukemia, she's full of shit. Oh, she got ammo. I mean, what's his name? Fucking Chris, the fucking head of the seal, my age. You know, he's the guy that orchestrated the fucking nuclear energy bailouts in New York. Sudden news. Okay. Okay. All these fucking sudden news. I mean, these people are just fucking. Sick. I mean, go ahead. Fucking put your ear fucking in the fucking public. These salmon numbers, I don't do opinion. I don't do anything. I do. I'm a PhD. I do the real work. You had to go where I'm not a copy and paste at Harvard, at fucking Stanford, which is being exposed. It's all a fraud. And if you're going to university to fucking spend half a million to get some piece of paper to go to work for the fucking corporates and be a corporatist bootlicker. Yeah, you might make quite a bit of money. Maybe that's what you're going to be. You're going to be a bootlicker. Because that's what they are. Fucking. I mean, look at the marine biology world. The only real marine biologist out there is Kevin Wyatt. And I had to go rope and fucking attack by Google. Teams of fucking trolls, whatever. Fuck. But I'm not a bootlicker. And I do the real work. Fuck, we have the empirical fucking data. This is the greatest outlier in fucking human history. We don't count dead tide pools. Kevin Blanche does. Oh, we don't count dead fucking humans in Bone Marrow. My, oh, Kevin Blanche says I was almost one of them. My work's all being verified every fucking day. I mean, this is, in science, we call that an outlier versus outright liars or just downright ignorant fools. You know, so. Yeah. These fucking people are so fucking. Ask not what I can do for my country. Ask what I can do for my country. Money, money, money. They're hypnotized. They're fucking completely hypnotized by fucking letters. My classic fucking worthless fucking currencies. They think that's a zenith of life and comfortability. Academia needs to be fucking boarded up, closed up. I mean, if you're going to university in the United States, you're out of your fucking mind. You know, you're going to be a doctor or you're going to be a fucking... Or, I mean, I mean, they got us so funneled into this imperialist cattle fucking shit. But that's what you're going to be. You're nothing but a fucking sheep out of the fucking slaughterhouse. And I'm an ex-fucking professor at the number one school business in the United States. I jack piece of shit. Fuck. What are you doing? You know? What is the matter with this fucking country? Consumption junk is what your function I mean, Pacific Ocean dies, stock market makes all time high. Willing to give up your fucking life, fucking future, family, children, fucking everything to make some fucking people you never fucking gave up your health to make somebody you never met fucking well. Yeah, we need nu- nuclear. Fucking nuclear energy stuff we don't even use. California producing more solar, they don't even have anywhere to fucking put it. Because fucking everybody's blocking it politically. We're still using dirty coal in the city, you know, because of one guy, Warren fuckhead Buffett. Yeah, look it up. He owned Rocky Mountain and his twin fucking cousin, Bill Eugenics. Hey, we hate the elites. We hate the elites. We hate the elites. We hate them. We hate them. We have to tell them We hate Yeah, you'll vote for anybody who's willing to fucking cut fucking taxes to zero on the 1%. The elites. You don't think that empowers them? They should be paying fucking 99% fucking tax. They should be fucking rounded up all these fuckers and fucking dip. The nuclear energy crime syndicate, the pork. That big agricultural fucking pork lobbies have been created to the point they're infiltrated and everything. And you can't break them, so you want to join the team? What, for money? <laughs> I got news. If I haven't proven it, I was giving too much to live in 2011. You do know that. Damn, I would With a non survivable disease. Open heart surgery twice. Mike Lee kicks me off Medicaid. If you don't see the fight is the fucking life, you're tense doing the fucking real fucking PhD and work, fuck. My field works fucking, looks like, what's her name called me from down there, Monterey? She said, I can't believe you haven't even got a Nobel Prize. A, fuck, try five or six of them. I mean, you're toning the whole fucking thing across so many demographics. I'm the media, I'm the biologist, I'm the professor. I do all this work with no money, and thank you for not supporting me, which nobody does anymore. You know, I got fucking... I think two people. I'm gonna quit you, but I'm gonna fucking come in and fucking friendship bait you and fucking stab you in your fucking back. <laughs> Go ahead, fuckers. That's on you, not me. I'm a blotter test. I do the fuck work, and that's all I do. So just keep doing the fuck work. My camera's fucking broke, but like I said, whatever. There ain't nobody gonna support me. I get that because they don't want the fucking truth. They want to go along and live in their fucking fairy tale. Everything's just fine. Everything's not fine. 
consumption junkie fucking incredible freak show is what it is in the United States. I call it the decadence of usury. But, oh, fuck, we got to kick a field goal. My fucking wind can blow your camera if I'm breaking again. Go over and shoot my videos as they're tearing down all the trees along the fucking river. Right now, the last indigenous fucking trees. Yeah, your ankle's all fucked up. Yeah, I know. By the way, you want to see something pitiful, you come watch this Ogden Raptors baseball team. We've had baseball here for 126 years. Uh, if I got to be the worst professional baseball team in the history of professional baseball. Ogden's had professional baseball 18 now. It's, well, it's beyond pitiful. Way beyond pitiful. I mean, it's laughable. So, this, it's either laugh or cry. So, what a metaphor for degenerate America, degenerate Utah. Fucking, i never seen fucking such a bunch of fucking warmongering, hate the environment. Not to the point where they're, just ignore the environment, to the point that they're actually, at any cost, attacking. These people will not be happy until every single native animal, you know, they'll have 10 dogs on their leash. Every single native animal is dead in this state. Every single fucking native tree or plant is dead. That's what they're up to. Then they're all in. Because they're going to see a man or man. American manufactured Jesus. Okay. Okay. Stand tuned.